All right. All right. Welcome back to uh, Heroes in Training. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sure who was going to intro. Uh, <laughs> waiting for, waiting for someone else to do it. You're like, wait, I'm the GM. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. we, we've just seen uh, our, uh, one of the Celestial Seven uh, Dragon of the West um, unleash his powers on the big bad villain Tempest and uh, charred him up pretty good. Uh, and now we see um, Aviska, who is currently a villain, appearing onto the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So she sees Tempest all charged. She's like, Tempest. And she like runs over to him and uh, she's going to try and like get close to him. I, I don't know if anything happens, but I assume uh, Tempest doesn't do anything. But uh, yeah, if they. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> I just mean I, I don't know if they're letting me get close to him. Oh sure, me. Yeah, maybe maybe Omnivorph like puts a cage around you and. Oh well, I mean I can like, tries to get in your way, but you just become them. immaterial. So I just go through. <laughs> yeah. Um. And uh, well, I, although. Yeah, I don't know. I was say I don't know if that works any different if he's a person and also a wall. But I don't know. I guess I can go through people. Actually, when I go through people, it drains them of strength. Yeah, yeah. So it probably hurts him when I go through him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and so she runs down and grabs him, and uh, she looks around, <laughs> and what what is everyone doing? Because this will probably determine what she does. Next. I'm just, like, on my knees, like, arms, like, useless <laughs> in front of him. He can't even, like, move. He used all, all for one at 100%. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you mean a million percent? God, I hated that. That made me so mad. <laughs> like, oh, I can't beat him at 100%. Yeah, so I just punch him harder stupid. one million percent. I was, it was like it was so dramatic, and I, and then he said a million percent, and I just instantly lost all of the tension. I'm like, come on, a million percent. If we've seen what a hundred percent looks like from all my, you would have shattered the world. Like that's yeah, stupid. Well, so um, I, again, I think he was just saying it to say it. Being not dramatic, it was, but that yeah. was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't know. Uh, anyways. You can't use a percent and then be silly and dramatic about it. Percents <laughs> are supposed to be. In- David, have you watched the anime? The power scalers are going going to go crazy. Oh, dumb. <laughs> Anyways, um, like when he said foe 100 percent, like when he was doing all the power, that was awesome because you're like, oh, yeah, he's hitting 100 percent. But like he's imita- it was much cooler. Anyways, um, I. Uh, yeah, is everybody like drawing or like are they converging or are they just standing there They're probably just standing waiting to see what happens right i mean five finger filet and omnimorph tried to stop okay. you because they were closest to you right. and they're just kind of waiting to see what happens but they all right. look like beat up <laughs> yeah so yes yeah, i guess i grab hold of them like how did this happen how did you beat heartbeat and not these guys <laughs> uh uh, yeah, I guess I guess Tempest is like, like I'm not done yet. Um. Yeah, and I think I'm slowly ascending on like a disc of energy from yeah. the ship. You mean descending? <laughs> descending. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you've got any tricks, use them now. Um, Aviska, I would step away from him if I was you. Does he do anything right as I say that? If not, I'm going to do something. <laughs> uh, I think I think you start to do something, and Tempest like pushes you away. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, stands up and uh, like looks at all of the um, people and sees that Dragon is like, like has used up all of his power, and he gets mm-hmm. a good grin on his face and you see uh not as strong as before but you see um uh some uh blue electrical energy starting to like form around him and he charges that dragon or like takes takes a, a big leap and is like gonna punch him through the face all right well I, are is are you guys gonna do something i have one more hold to spend so i can do something if i need to i was assuming Avisca was gonna do something yeah, that's uh, I mean, I was going to try and help him escape. Um, oh, okay. Because I thought he was dying. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the move says he's out of the fight, right? Or how? Do, what does that say? I don't know. He's remember. neutralized uh, a threat neutralized for a now. Threat at least for now. Okay. So I assume that means that something has to change before he's a threat again, right? 
I guess that's why I was expecting that he couldn't fight back anymore. Is that uh, the case? Yeah, I think yeah, that I, is I've already misread case. what you were about to do, so I I was just okay. assuming he's okay. like on his last lens. Right. All right. Well, I, I'll I'll tell you what I was going to do, and then we'll see how it goes. So if he doesn't do anything immediately when she says that, I'm going to grab hold of him. And this was probably really very difficult to do, so I'll have to roll for it, I'm sure. But I'd like to make both of us metaphysical and go into the ground like I did when I was fighting Heartbeat. Um, like invert into the ground. Um, can she do that? Yeah, can I did. Never do I, uh, I tell, like, making other people immaterial is why I'm not really sure. Uh, that's up to you. But going to the ground, I did during the Heartbeat fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, she can definitely do that. But I, I wanted to see if I could push it and see if I could take him with me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's part of the narrative is let's see if cool. you can't do it. If you were all right. Yeah, I mean, I'll roll. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, this is just freak. I don't think I have anything. Special here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. All right. So you you pull them under the under the under the sand. Um, I assume maybe some of the base is beneath you guys, like deep beneath you. So you can kind of escape to that. Yeah. My thought was that she might try and run to the base. Cause otherwise I don't know how long she can hold this necessarily, especially with somebody else. I think she's yeah. going to try and get somewhere physical, but yeah, we see her like she did in the fight with heartbeat. You guys didn't see it, but basically she just inverts. So her feet stay stuck to the ground, but she's upside down now inside of the ground. It's just like dark. Um, and she just starts running. <laughs> okay. Um, so real quick, can I, I, I have one hold to spend. Can I cross a distance between them and you and get to uh, Tempest before she can do this? Is that what? Or at least, at least to attempt to do something. Yeah, it's, it's I spend a hold and it's just it's like I can spend my hold to name a character you observed. So it'd be Tempest and yeah. cross a distance between them and you. Yeah, that makes sense that he that he gets there faster than you can materialize him. But you also just succeeded at the role. Yeah, well, it also just means you get there. So, like, I imagine right, you would get there, and then I would, I would do my probably. thing, right? I so probably, yeah. I imagine that's how it would work. Like, if it, it doesn't. I, say I probably like should have said this before you made the roll to try to do this in oh, advance. Yeah. But I well, guess and, since you already made the roll, then we will just say I do it. I was going to do it anyway, but I just like yeah. failed whatever I tried. Yeah, that's to do. the how, other. Th- how do you do contesting? Roles? Yeah, that's the thing about uh, Power by the Apocalypse is PvP is basically not a thing. I mean, yeah, it is, but it doesn't do. work. What? Yeah, I, I think we just need to be careful about the order of operations. Yeah. Right. Um, it basically just says in the section, if you have stuff happening in its place, you just meet, use the moves. And it, yeah. so it's like, it's not my favorite, but that's how all y'all do it. <laughs> so mm-hmm. all Powered by the Apocalypse do it. Um, and we won't have this issue very much, I don't think so. Yeah, I was going to say, um, in future, if this sort of thing came up again, I would have spent the hold before you made the move and mm-hmm. then tried to do something since I was there. And then There isn't really a that. turn order in, in masks either. So it's right. very much so just up to the narrative. And it's it's just my job to make sure that somebody isn't hogging the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think we see we see Vulcan like transport himself, like probably like step into a, a an energy portal or something, like just like mm-hmm. transfuse himself really quickly across the distance as like a flash of orange energy. And I grab for tempest but then we see you vroom, invert yeah. yeah and yeah i mean she's metaphysical anyway so maybe you do like grab him but it's just your hand passes right. through him and yeah yeah um and yeah she's just gonna run for the direction of the base um but like as she's doing that i don't know you probably can't speak verbally but maybe because i'm like holding him i can communicate with our minds because i want to i want to interrogate him about what happened with um heartbeat because she's like how did you win against heartbeat and lose against all these people you've beat a bunch of times um and she's also curious about what heartbeat had said when he, he sort of implied that he held back um go so ahead roll to pierce the mask yeah um and you can you can take a bonus since he's he's uh got a lot of conditions <laughs> yeah, yeah okay um wanted to see if i had anything here but and, and yeah gen- generally speaking um he probably has three conditions from that last thing but i'm just not worrying about it since we're okay. trying to yeah not prolong this fight right. is that monday yes I think, right? okay oh wait sorry i didn't add anything to that not that it matters um 
pierce uh, the mask. It's a seven plus one. As usual, I don't think these. Yeah, I don't think these questions are going to be what I wanted to ask. Uh, <laughs> you got a seven with a plus. So you rolled three plus three plus one. So whatever else you need to add to that. Uh, whatever bonus you were going to give me, which I think was just one, right, for him being injured. Uh. Well. It, it doesn't really matter because I would have I would have needed like a plus three to get a ten. You need three so. to get it's, a ten. It's, I'm sure it's fine. And I, I only have one question I want to ask anyways. Okay. Uh, but I don't know that these are the questions, right? Like I want to know. Well, go ahead. Go ahead and ask your question. I mean, my question was basically just what I had asked earlier. But how did how did these people beat you? And the answer is that, you know, heartbeat held back. Right. Uh, yeah. And that's what and, she wants to find out. But I don't know. I don't know if like what do you what what are you really planning i know it doesn't really make sense either i don't think but i don't know if any of these questions quite quite get the answer that i'm looking are you for looking to provoke someone is that what you're doing no i uh, pierce the mask no oh, pierce the mask yeah um let's see. i mean if i can have done provoke someone to like get him to tell me instead and i have the same stat for superior if that makes more sense. I don't, I don't think it matters. I think, okay. I think, I mean, you're piercing the mask and that, I don't feel like that's a, like, that's a question he's hiding. Right. I mean, that I yeah. feel like mechanically well, speaking, it's, it's the same yeah. effect. It's not asking the right question. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to, to look at the rules again, but I, I think we should just go for it. Yeah. Well, and the main thing is that like, uh, I I'm this probably isn't like a genuine me trying to know who, who he is as a person thing. It's more like me being yelling at him, right? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's it's, not whatever, makes sense. Wasn't it? Wouldn't it be provoke someone then? Because I mean, like, I, but the results for provoke someone they are they rise to debate and do what you want. That's the main thing that happens, and so oh, it would just answer your yeah, question, right? Well, the- yeah, but on a seven to nine, they can instead choose one, and I don't know that any of these make a lot of sense. And that's what I got. So oh, they, they can do. instead choose one. They don't have to. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters that much. Uh, there's not like, I mean, you get to make a, a move because I got a partial success here, but w- regardless of that, I think the outcome should, it, he can just tell me the answer and then, and then you can have something happen. Right. I think it'll be the same regardless of what we do. Uh, yeah. Well, I think, I think you should mark guilty. And I think, uh, okay. yeah, I think uh he sense. says, what, uh, what, what, what exactly is the question you're asking? Like you, you say, Oh, you uh, said, how are you able to be? Yeah. So I think she just repeats her question. Like, how did they get one over on you after what you did to heartbeat? Yeah. He's way stronger than all of them. Yep. Um, how did this happen? <laughs> She's like, you know, and it's probably like echoing in their heads. Right. Um, I think, I think he kind of gives you a, a faux answer at first. And he says like, yeah. uh, uh, I haven't lost yet. Bring me back. Count or uh, this guy. Um, Yeah, I think she's. We both know what'll happen if we go back out there. Now, tell me what happened. Um, uh, Heartbeat told me that he didn't want to hurt me. I don't know. I I don't understand what he's saying. Didn't want me to die. But Aviska, no matter what happened in that fight, I bested Heartbeat. Just because he didn't want to kill you by holding back doesn't mean that I didn't beat him. Doesn't mean that I didn't outsmart him, outmaneuver him. You're just a piece on my chessboard. Don't try and take this win away from me. And don't try and take away my next win from me. And I think he like breaks free of you and rematerializes. And I think Mm -hmm. when someone rematerializes, when they can't, they probably just revert. Or yeah, unrevert. yeah. Right. Yeah. They just pop <laughs> they just out of whatever. Pop they're back doing. up from the sand. Yeah. Yeah. She follows him then if he does that. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think he, he, he turns and looks back to where the Celestial Seven are. And they're, I mean, I'm assuming you guys are all looking for him. Probably digging uh, in the ground, like trying to figure out where he's going to go. Um, so yeah, I think she, she, after she materialized, she grabs her shoulder and like turns him towards herself. 
And so she says, you're telling me that he held back and he died because I was there. I don't care who won the fight, Tempest. Uh, Te- Tempest looks at you with like, like disgust. And he's like, yeah. Um, he won the fight because he's a hero. He won the, f- or, uh, I won the fight yeah. because he's a hero. Yeah. He lost oh. the fight because he's a hero. He let his emotions get in the way. A mistake I won't make with you. And he, he, he pushes you away. He like, he like, he like probably, probably like with both hands, like launches you into the air. Yeah. I think when he goes to do that, I'd like to turn a material and try and drain his yeah. strength from him. Yep. Uh, why don't you roll? Um, I suppose that's probably, uh, I like this is- Use your powers, right? Or defend, maybe. Oh. Well, so I, I'm not protecting anybody else, so it wouldn't be defend. That's for other people, oh, I think. Okay. Um, but so it's either directly engage a threat or or unleash powers. Uh, what are the results for those? Let me look and see what makes more sense. Probably directly engage a threat because it's like getting hurt. Um, yeah, because this is just doing something when you unleash your powers. So I, I and I, yeah, I think I'm going to try and like actually attack him. Yeah, if. If you can't actually, okay, let's, let's do this. I have, I have an idea. So, um, all right. So I'll, I'll just start the language for the first. Yeah. Pull it. Okay, and then do we have the references in full twenty? I can't seem to pull the them moves. up. Right off the uh, we do. It's in handouts. Yeah, the basic moves. Yeah, uh, directly engage a threat on a ten plus pick two. I get to resist or avoid their blows. I get to take something from them, create an opportunity for allies, or press surprise or frighten the opposition. I would like to resist his blows and take something from them, which would be like his. If if I can like take his position, I'd like to follow up with the overwhelm of vulnerable foe move. If I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Go ahead. So yeah, I think we see uh his his both of his hands go straight through her like his, her her chest turns into shadow where his hands go. And you like yep. we see like the black veins on his burnt arms. Um where are we during all this, by the way? You uh, guys are for him. you're a pretty short distance away because I was just running underground for like right. I was like we, there's seconds. almost no chance we don't interrupt this. No. Uh, yeah, I mean you're right there. <laughs> yeah. Um and then um I uh uh sorry, I was trying to think what she was gonna say. Um what was the last thing he said? I was mistaken I won't make with you, right? Yep, yep. Um oh. Yeah, I don't know what the, I feel like there's a line here, but I, Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, he just says, I'm going to take a moment. You've already made your mistake. And then her hands turn into like her cloth thing, things again, shadow things again. She just like digs them into his body. Um, and I'm going to try and, and overwhelm him and see if I can. Uh, let's see, is there any? Oh, also, I have, uh, oh, I guess that's directly a gauge of threat. That doesn't count. Never mind. Scroll that. Ooh, that's awful. Nice. Um, uh, technically, I could spend a team, but I'm not part of the team, so I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. There was something here. Yeah, I think it makes more sense to introduce that mechanic when we actually have the team. Have a team. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, what is what happens on a failure? It did nothing right. I just like get wrecked. Yeah, you have to or, roll the next powerful blow, I believe, right? Or, or is it different? Since it's, it's up to you. Uh, uh, so let's see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about a failure. Yeah, so basically, you decide what happens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll say that. Um, Wait, did I get a bonus uh, for him being injured or anything like that? I know you mentioned that earlier. I don't know how that actually works, but um, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, why don't we, why don't we give you a, a plus? And one? I did. So I, I, yeah, I also like did the creative edge thing, or not creative edge, but uh, so that because then I get a seven and I at least uh, get a yeah. soft success, which is uh, so on a hit they're over, they're done. Um, on a seven to nine, 
choose two. I either take a powerful blow or I hurt my foe more than I intended or I cause serious collateral damage. I don't really know that she's intending to hurt him in any specific amount. So I guess I can pick that. Um, and then I'll, I'll take a powerful blow. I guess I think that makes sense. Yeah. I don't think causing serious collateral damage makes a lot of sense. Her power isn't very collateral damagey. Um, so I'll, I'll make the take a powerful blow move. So I think there's probably just like feedback. I mean, he's basically like an electrical pylon and I'm just <laughs> like draining his health. <laughs> so uh, we probably both like light up like a Christmas tree sure, yeah, and yeah. Then, like, I like bump that. over under the ground. Um, Go ahead and roll to take a powerful blow, and we'll see what see what happens. Plus conditions, right? Yeah. Uh, um, how do I go there? I think that's bad. It is. Uh, yeah. So hey, so on a ten you... plus, you either must remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. Oh yeah. Hey, real, your real power quick. Away. Instead of spending my hold to do. Sorry, I, I, I totally interrupted you. What? Uh, I can pick uh, two options from the oh, nine, yeah. Yep, which is oh. less, but... Got it. Yeah, but go ahead. Um, instead of spending my hold to do nothing, um, can I spend my hold now to... Um, uh, what What are the options I have here? To, like, help... I want, basically want to protect Tavisca. Um, uh, yeah, I, you can maybe cut off the connection before it's too late. Um... Yeah, so I have one of the options is redirect their attack to another character or nowhere into a wall or the sky. Sure. Um, so, yeah, so sorry, describe again what he's trying to do. Well, so well, I'm draining his energy and I just yep. rolled real bad. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. idea is that it's also feedbacking into me and is like yep. overwhelming me. Okay, yeah. So I, I'm imagining I do the do what I described before where I kind of like teleport with an in or a flash mm -hmm. of orange light, right? And then I appear right next to Tempest and then I just kind of like uppercut his arms. Uh, so they just like go up oh, yeah. and yeah. they're just ugh, like he kind of like raises up in the air and then she goes material again. Oh, yeah. And I think she probably still slumps down like. Um, yeah. Uh, so what do you want me to do for the result of that move? Then do you want to just say that's the. Uh, because yeah. I, sp I spent a hold to get yeah we'll say that's what would have happened we gotta that's what would have happened if he wouldn't have spent his hold okay. to, cool. to stop you from yeah. taking the powerful blow yeah so she probably still like you know sl slumps back but uh, yeah. she's not nearly as injured <laughs> uh, okay cool. so can I, I then try to wield my powers with precision and grace to just like basically make him into like make an energy cage around him that will just like contain him once and for all I mean, he, so he's done. He can't fight anymore. Like, that's what the, um, because I got a partial success on the overwhelm. Right. So he, the fight's over there, done. So he can't do anything anymore. But yeah, I mean, obviously, if you want to, like, can I just do that anyway? Just cage him or whatever <laughs> without a roll, just because he's already out anyway. Um, yes, but it's not going to end there. Um, he's not going to, he's not going to stop fighting until we end. Well, I mean, he's neutralized as a threat for now. I don't think of well, no, the, has... that's the that's the freak version. The version, uh, or sorry, the wielder powers. The overwhelm of vulnerable foe version says the fight's over. They're done. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, she did it. So it's even less. Wait, who succeeded? I didn't remember. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. No, you're fine. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, over one more Yeah, yeah. I okay. think that's the reason that it's different because, like, you can defeat people with your powers, but it doesn't end the fight. It just kind of like stalls it, and they can yeah. like come back later. But this is like a much more definitive ending. Yeah, to the I fight, forgot. I that. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, so, so, so like you, what what Avisca has drained out of him has made him basically like done, and then yeah. I just cage him up. Yeah. So it's physical powers yeah. over. I also, oh wait, no, never mind, because I didn't, I, we didn't actually fail that role, so never mind. I was going to say, I, I um, chose to hurt him more than I meant to, but that, I guess it didn't really happen, so. Also, uh, I feel like... I, yeah, I think it would be best if he, if you guys killed him. And and you guys yeah, also have right. authors to kill him, because... Yeah, right, and he's bad. Also, um, I mean, I, well, I also, only got a partial success on the role to attack him so the move could literally just that could just be what happens that, you yeah, know, I, I think that's if, if you want him oh. dead that makes the most sense to me is that actually the one who killed him yeah no you know what because what you interrupted was was the um 
take a powerful blow, but it's the, it was the, um, defeat of vulnerable foe that said I did more damage than I meant to. Yeah. So I can just have yeah. killed him. Yeah. I didn't negate that. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I yeah, took so, a powerful so blow. I, I turned him more than I intended. Yeah. I, I, I knock his arms up and I turn to him to like cage him and I start to harness this orange energy and we just see him maybe like his arms go up and he just like falls back. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. 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 Ails and, um, what, what um, what exactly happens with when you do that to someone does does he dematerialize is that what if i no i'm just i'm just draining their vitality so he's just there's just no spark left in him okay all right Uh, well you just you lose you lost control of your power so i'm wondering what it's like oh like like if it goes crazy all the life out of him or does he just like dematerialize and just like is just gone oh yeah Yeah. i mean i I suppose if you took enough of the like life energy out of something it would just turn to dust right i like that i like that answer he just turns to dust yes yeah, so maybe, <laughs> maybe when i when i you're dis- gonna knock his arms off and they just they, they just blow off right yeah, yeah. they just <laughs> like well, I, I like to think that it's as, less like I, in I, the air it just like they slowly just like dematerialize right i, I yeah. think it, it's it's less like i i put my arm through them and they just like turn to yeah. dust but rather i i rip them off because yeah, they just, like come like they're already body. starting to disintegrate at the elbow or something right yeah. and then i just when yeah. i do that his arms just come off and then he slowly just starts falling into pieces yeah like t- starts crumbling yeah sweet Okay. Yeah, I think Countess probably slumps down is like starting to well up with you know emotion or whatever because everything's gone wrong <laughs> here. Yeah, uh, I think I look down at you and I say, um, uh, oh, there has to be a line here. Every great warrior, every great warrior has loyalty to give. Now the Tempest is dead. Where does your allegiance lie, Aviska? Yeah, she looks up at you. She's she's tearing up. She's, I I didn't believe it was real. That any of it was real. No one's ever just assumed it was a facade, but he... He died so I would be safe. And Aren't then she you? like, it looks like she's trying to work through something in her head, right? Like she's trying to process something that doesn't make sense to her. Um, yeah. And uh, to be honest, Aviska, you probably see a heartbeat still standing on an open field, like a, back where we were with Tempest, right? Because yeah. I had him chart. He's right. just standing there, like still op- like standing because of the construct, the, the energy. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, I've, I, I, you know he's dead, but yeah, right, yeah, he just got um, But I mean, do I though? Like, I mean, is superheroes? <laughs> he could have some dumb power I didn't know about. <laughs> um, I no, he, he's never died before. Maybe, maybe we see a Visca like glance over, and I say, "Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, he is dead." I gave him one last act in life. Or, I, I gave him one last chance to. Uh, I gave him a resurrection. But yeah, I think was, she looks but, at you. But, but, even, but even I cannot bring gods back to life. Yeah, she looks back and she says, I need to know why he did it. Um, Does either Vulcan or Dragon say something, or should I have a different, a different one of the members come over and give her the answer? Yeah, what is Dragon doing right now? He's slumping. recovering, probably just still slumping. <laughs> he, he's, I mean, he was pretty far away. He's slowly like just using his chin to crawl because that's all that's working. He'll just like crawl <laughs> towards you. He's doing the boomy bending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. We see him fire bend from his chin, flip over, flip over, land on his back, <laughs> fire bend again, flip yeah. over, land on his stomach. <laughs> he's doing. He's just rolling. What? How many conditions do you have? Not, not many. It was more narrative. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I think you're probably fine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he, narratively, he's fine, right. but or yeah. uh, rules wise, yeah. he's fine. Mechanically, but. yeah, right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I probably say you, you asked what? Why did he do it? Like, yeah, I need to know why you did it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I say the same reason. The same same reason that every hero does what they are meant to do. 
Uh, the same reason that every hero does what they do. Because they have a duty to what is right. Uh, she shakes her head. She says, no, I've, I've met heroes. They do it for fame and for money and for influence. I, it was a lie. It has to be. It's always been a lie. The only reason a lie works is because there's a truth. A truth that actually... Uh, the only reason that a lie works is because there's something that it's corrupting. An ideal that actually does exist. It wouldn't work. Um, the lie wouldn't be oh, so no, powerful. Yeah. What? Yeah, the no. lie wouldn't be... <laughs> the lie wouldn't be so powerful um, if there weren't real heroes. You have met hypocrites, yes. But hypocrisy begs idealism. It begs a truth that does matter. Yeah, and she, she doesn't say anything, but you can see she's like trying to, to piece things together. And she just kind of like, she's, she's sort of nodding like in, in response to your saying things, but yeah. she doesn't have any response. Uh, and she looks like she's pretty distant. Uh, but yeah. I must admit, I had my own doubts about Heartbeat. But in the end, he was a truth. Yeah. I always, I, I wondered, I wonder, I wonder often what the stories of humans mean. The myths that you tell each other. Well, I think today I learned something of that. Myths inspire us to live up to them. And today... A myth appeared. Uh, a myth happened here. It's just not so. So, what happens now? That depends on if you believe the myth. Uh, is, it, yeah. is it true for you? Does it matter? Or is uh, it yeah. a lie? She just sort of looks at says, I hope it's true. And I think uh, over the, like in the distance, we see Heartbeat's body like slowly, like the energy yeah. loses its power. Yeah. And I think, I think he slumps to his fall. knees yeah. and just falls face first. Yeah. And yeah, I think we see, um, no, I, this, I, I think I, I, I was gonna say, I, I actually have a line based on what yeah. you just said. Oh, yeah. I think I say, sometimes hope is all we have. And then she, I think we see her take out the little picture she saw of, of his son and like mm -hmm. sort of like clutches it and then she just sort of nods. Oh, you know what? I think maybe you do that first and then I say, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Hope yeah. is all we have. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Right. Cool. Is that, is that it? <laughs> is that where we draw so. curtain uh, on uh, that scene? Yeah, I think we see, um, you know, you guys taking Heartbeat's body onto the ship and, um, uh, Cody and uh, Marty uh, um, on the ship being like this wasn't worth the cost uh, and Marty's crying as a little fanboy that he is right. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think he, he gives him a salute as his body is being carried on to the, to the ship um, and uh, botanist who you guys all know has just had um, his third kid um, is walking on board, having restrained all the other um, villains and stuff. And uh, you don't leave says, him out in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm sure that there's other like yeah. other military craft now Clean coming up, crews, to pick up yeah. the villains, but they had to stay far away for Tempest and Heartbeat's fight. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, now botanist comes on. He's like, "That's it, you guys." This has got to be my last real fight here. I was one day from retirement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, basically, he's like, he's like, I can't keep, I can't keep fighting like this. I got, I got a family. I'll still be a part of the Celestial Seven, and when you really need me, you can call on me. But I can't live like this anymore. Every odyssey comes to an end. I understand. At the end of a hero's journey, they are meant to go back to their family. 
Yeah. Uh, I think we get a scene of luminescence coming up to dragon um, and saying, how are you? He sits there for a minute in silence because he doesn't know what to say because Jared also doesn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. Should have fought them together to begin with. Hmm. L- Luminescence gives you a little smirk like you wouldn't have been able to stand or he or wouldn't have been able to stand their blows for 15 seconds. Okay, why? But we literally just won, though. So he was he was way more amped when he was fighting Heartbeat because oh, Heartbeat's yeah. super emotions was also amping him. Ah, uh, okay. So, so yeah. Heart, so Heartbeat just got in the way. So it's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, as well as um, narratively speaking, and you Dragon can believe whatever he wants, but narratively speaking, Tempest was also not in perfect control of his emotions because he was excited. Yeah. He had just and, won the fight against Harpy and he was getting too anxious about winning this fight because he was he, like, oh, I beat the strongest one. Now I can. Right. Also, in terms of um, like power level ratings, like you, you can you, like Dragon can leave whatever he wants. Yeah. Um, in terms of like narrative power level ratings, um, Dragon is uh, and, and the other two. Uh, uh, this the MPLR. The narrative power level rating. The, yeah, the narrative power level. Yeah, for real. No, I have a. This is going to be a power level right there. It's, um, uh, that the government like puts in play. That's how mm-hmm. it guides um, uh, the the sidekick law. Which, which heroes can go up? Which yep. missions and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so they rate power levels. Uh, Heartbeats was like approximately twenty thousand, and your your three guys' as characters are all around eleven thousand. Um. So heartbeat was immensely stronger, but but like there's an asterisk next next to heartbeat's power level because uh, that, that's like change. its average power level. Yeah. It changes, it fluctuates so much, yeah, and it's like Escanor. Yeah, this yeah. this fight was was amped up for him as well because he was excited. Yeah, this is like the pinnacle. Of, yeah, what's, uh, this uh, what's is the pinnacle of his career. Power level. <laughs> um, I believe fifty thousand. Jeez. And it makes sense that, I mean, he also was getting hit while he was fighting, so he probably wasn't at full like durability, right? If this was like a, a D&D game, he'd have been taking damage. Yeah, you know, he's, well, yeah. yeah, so uh, I sense. have the power levels written down somewhere in here. But... It's over 9,000! Everybody's over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's over 9,000. All the heroes and stuff are, yeah. All our real characters are at, like, sitting around 5. Yeah. We're all like Hawk. Uh, is it Hawk in in um, uh, Seven Deadly Sins? Everyone's power levels nuts, and then it gets to him, and it's like five. <laughs> yeah, uh, it looks like it looks like for Heartbeat and Tempest, I I, I match them evenly at twenty five thousand each. Oh, nice. And you said so, you were at eleven. So I mean, just by arithmetic, you know, you should be able to beat the crap out of him with seven people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but also. Um, like if if the fight were to, uh, I'm mostly, I'm mostly kidding. It's fine. But but like uh, like all he has to do is take out one of the eleven thousand. Yeah, and then the, the power level goes down. So so it doesn't like as they're accumulating. Mm-hmm. Like even in terms of like the how the laws go, yeah. it doesn't quite stack like that. It it's mm-hmm. like it's, it's not. It's not like you actually have one hundred and ten thousand or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not cumulative. Like that, but yeah. Um, cool. Is that is that where we draw the scene? She she says yeah. that, and then oh, right. uh, I keep saying the same thing. I just say, you know, just to end the conversation, uh, emotions are what get us killed. And then he just sure. shuts yeah. up after that. Right. Still, still writing off heartbeat like that's that's his problem. I love it. And also yeah. saying, I think you and me are done. <laughs> I can't let my emotions for you get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what he's saying? It's it's it has like try meaning because the the heart the, the heartbeat thing yeah. is like I can't get too close to you otherwise yeah. I'll get emotional and get killed too yeah. and the thing that happened in his past derived from emotions that this is a, a tra- she, whatever traumatic event Uh probably 
we probably talked about it at one point. Cool. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll close that scene there, and then uh, Aviska gets on board, and uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Marty can't stand to look at you, but um, uh, Cody Reynolds comes up and says, "We'll bring you back to base, and what they do from there is up to them." But I'll let them know what you did for us today. Without your help. Well, let's just say things have been different. And I'll let them know. Ironically, without my help, uh, Heartbeat probably would have won. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I give her a side glance at that. Like I'm when, when the officer says, says that. And yeah, she, she winces win. a little because... You guys didn't really need my help at the end, and my help didn't help at all. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, she nods. Cody's, you know. saying, Cody's saying that uh, tongue in cheek, right? He's like, he's like, things yeah. would have been, it would have been different. Like, like he's saying that, like, it, you know, you helped and you hurt. So, right, yeah. He, so he's not saying I'll put in a good word for you. He's saying without your help, things would have been different. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, we'll we'll close out the scene from there unless anybody else has something that they need to get off their chest. And uh, we we get um, not the um, next level song that's the kind of the every episode theme, but we get um, the keep running from the same AP zero um, as kind of like uh, the Last of Us intro, where we get uh, like this three minute scene where we get kind of all these important details from. That, that are going to come up in the show and we get cool scenes from your mentor characters, cool scenes from your characters um, mm-hmm. as the song is kind of going on. Uh, yeah. I was so going to maybe cool to, to get sort of like an outro view of our actual characters. So we can kind of like introduce them for next time. Um, do we want to do that? Uh, Just yes. like whatever they're doing right now. Right. Yes. Um, I, as in what are they doing in present day? Uh, or like, I don't know, like in an outro where they're doing a bunch of stuff that never happens in the show. Uh, or maybe like what they're doing right now during, well, I guess they're not, they're not around right now as heroes. So, so yeah, maybe so, it would be future day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, so, so we, we, it's, it's five years from now is when we're going to do. Right. Yeah. Right? Um, so I'm going to um, flesh out some stuff in the intro and then I will get to that where I'm going to, I'm going to tease what's happening present day. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah. uh, so we get, um, Oh, actually, I, I will, I'll do. Uh, I don't know how to want to pace it. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna come back to five years ago in a little bit. But uh, okay. in the intro, we're gonna see um, you know, your guys as mentors doing cool stuff. Uh, Dragon of the West unleashing his uh, fire infernos. Um, Vulcan creating these energy uh, cages and blasts and protecting people from a, a collapsing building or something. Um, and we get a this guy. Um, dashing back and forth between uh, um between villains and and clawing at them with her uh sick claws maybe we get a, a little shot of her like um the the sort of legal process where she gets like inducted into the team uh, probably under like a probationary yeah. thing and like they yeah. have like a thing where it says it says countess over it instead of a visca yeah it's a new yeah. thing yeah that's stamped on there um we see a uh, botanist like going home to his, his family and kind of like a little, a little two second shot where he's walking into his home and kind of hanging up his, his suit. Uh, um, and we see um, a, a statue of a uh, um, heartbeat erected in the uh, outside the, the um, uh, where you guys live and train and stuff like that outside that facility there's a, a big statue of heartbeat in the corner um, or in, in the courtyard, not the corner um, of him, like standing victoriously with his fist in the air. And on the bottom, it says um, for justice is here uh, on this like uh, plaque or whatever. And then we also see um, uh, a tombstone that reads uh, um, heartbeat in a different location. Um, and we see um uh, some villains that I, I'll leave shadowy or sh- shadowed. We see two different like leagues of villains, um, but they're shadowed. You can't quite make out who the characters are yet. Um, 
and we see um, political turmoil all erupting from this scene. We see it called the catalyst um, uh, by people who are anti-hero. The anti-hero group calls this the catalyst. Um, We're seeing news footage and stuff now as well. Yep, news footage and uh, um, like headlines and things like that. Uh, and then we'll also get scenes from each of your guys' characters. So why don't you go ahead and give us a teaser of what your guys' characters can do before we um, leave. And, and, and this would and be like the anime this, outro that has us being heroes or what? What do you think? Uh, this is like a three minute clip that's like the begin, like the, the opening credits of a movie. That's kind of how this is playing out is like we're getting we're, we're getting a, um, the vibe for what the show is about in this like song intro with credits of like where this uh, you know like created by produced by actors and stuff like that we're kind of getting this whole montage just to kind of close out the episode well what it makes more sense instead of like having us like showing us being heroes wouldn't it make more sense to just have like as an after credits thing after this sequence just have us being like regular people first and then maybe at the very end hinting at like, oh, we're going to put on our super suits. And because I, I don't know, I feel like it makes more sense to do actual introductions for these characters next time, unless we're going to do a longer scene here. Uh, maybe maybe we can see the part where everyone gets their powers. Right. So like we would see left wing like crossing the street on his bike and this giant yeah. truck rams into him. And sure. like we see somebody like freak out, jump out of the car and he pulls out this little. Uh, per, I, I imagine it's purple for some reason uh purple vial and he's like you know he hesitating and then he like just goes to stab a syringe into the kid that got hit by the car and then it like cuts to black and then we could just sort of introduce like the that maybe yeah sure, yeah, yeah. I, I think uh you can go jared or i can go either one uh you can go yeah i think um we see uh a uh, young man um, probably just sitting in some sort of government office. Um, uh, and there's like, you know, one of the officers, you can obviously it'd be up to you who what, of the people, the like government agents that we saw, that's going to be regularly in contact with us. But we see one of, of them tells you you're a blank. say again of, of who tells you you're a blank. Yeah. Uh, pr probably Cody. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, and so we get that first initial, like, sorry, kid, like, we tried, but, like, it's not working. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I it's prob we're probably condensing some things here, but um, I think maybe it's, like, because, like, yeah, Vulcan's been around. So I guess I, I, I think it's probably even a matter of just, um, you're, you're a blank, sorry, kid, and then... Um, we just kind of cut to a different shot maybe and we see Vulcan like coming down on some energy and like confronting this kid and, and like offering him the armor maybe. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do it like that. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Don't really need to see more than that. And, and it's like um, this, these shots are done kind of like uh, like stop motion or like comic book fashion, right? Where it's like it's like um, some panels some still panels. Uh, n not still panels necessarily, but like the actions are like, you just see one shot of Vulcan holding the armor. And then the next shot is just him outstretched hand with it. Like that kind of like art style as hell. Yeah. I'm imagining like, uh, infamous the graphic. Yeah. 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 Sure. Something like that. Yeah. I like that. Which so obviously there's like some motion happening in the way they're presenting it. But it kind of like hands like the image, image a little bit. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Bastion, how about, how about yours? What, what scene do we get that kind of showcases it? uh like what how bastion came to be uh he's just sitting down for dinner in like a real small apartment with his mom and you just see him like like he's like a, he has like a cup of noodles in one hand and he's like doing homework uh, like uh, on the table next to him and then his pencil just explodes <laughs> Nice. And then there's a hard cut, and then he's being showered with communist gifts and wealth. <laughs> <laughs> and then do we get a shot of a uh, dragon like rescuing him from mm -hmm. from, from his the wealth? Yeah, there's like a, there's like a there's like a cut to like 
people fighting over Bastion, and then yeah. Dragon breaks, and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, so we get that scene, and we close out with the this opening intro thing, and we get the like title, Heroes in Training. And then, um, as the final scene that we get before we close, um, we see um, the dust of uh, Tempest out in the desert. And we see it kind of like blowing away with the sand. And we see uh, someone walking up. And we don't see their face. We don't really see prominent features about them. They're kind of uh, like the camera angles don't don't really show much. Um, This person kneels down and, and says, no, no. It was all for nothing. No. He could have lived on. We could have won. Let me see him like brush away at his face, but we don't see his face. And then uh, he stands up and he says, I'll make this right. I'll make the dream live on. And then we cut to black. Very fun. I was telling David I should have put the mentor names on the overlays instead of the hero names because for effort, I didn't realize how extensive a scene that was going to be with uh, <laughs> us fighting uh, Tempest. <laughs> have yeah, I, I, uh, I, I assume that this is going to be the problem is that this was going to take a lot longer than expected. It's about as long as I expected it would. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great sequence. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely showcases so much foreshadowing yeah. for, for what's coming. And I, I think introducing your characters or your mentor characters like this really helps shadow everything else. So I think it'll be really good. Sure. Yeah. I think it worked really well because I, I was a little nervous because anytime we go into a scene with like an intended way for that scene to end with in any way, it yeah. always feels so hard to get it there naturally without mm-hmm. making it feel forced. Uh, and I don't know if it felt forced or not, but I, I, I felt like it worked pretty well um, to get there. Cause yeah, I was like, I was like, I gotta, I gotta find a way, like find a time that feels natural to like try and, and push in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. But I think All it, right, I well, think let's, let's end there. Um, uh, I think maybe we should cut the after show for now since um, it's already 1142. Uh, and then we'll I'll make I can sure. do it, but yeah, if, if you guys can, that's fine. I, I probably shouldn't, yeah. Okay. Make sure to end us sooner next time. Okay. And we'll, hopefully we'll have a um <laughs> uh we'll we'll be able to stop in the middle of episodes pretty easily in the future. Uh, this was a we had to get through this entire this was basically yeah. a one shot. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically it was, yeah. All right, so that's heroes in training. Uh next time we will be introducing uh, the real characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to, to be able to play them. Yeah. Cool stuff. All right, that's it for us today. We'll be back, uh, I believe, on the, what do they say, the 13th? Yeah, 13th with some Chrome Quizzers. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see see what happens after that. All right, that's it from us. Adios.